That says recording will start soon. Okay, it's recording. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hi, Avery. Good. Hi, Sierra. <laughs> Hopefully, Sierra can hear Hi. me okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Doing good? Yeah. Good. Today, I guys, we're you. going to do a little bit, a lesson yeah. on argumentative writing. It's um, a topic that you kind of talk about where you um, will have your opinion on something. You will defend your opinion on something. And you have to give me some reasons why you feel a certain way about something. And um, we'll go from there. I'm going to show you a video about argumentative writing. And hopefully this helps a little bit of understanding. So... Sit back and enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> Argument essay, Alashmuk. Is Beaver's hair more awesome than Cousin It's? Should weekends be extended to four days instead of the measly two we currently have? Are dogs better than cats? No matter how you answered any of these questions, you're already in the thick of an argument. And hopefully you didn't tick off any cats in the process. They are unforgiving in writing, creatures. In writing, arguing has nothing to do with the decibel level, level of your voice. You're an argument essay persuades your readers to make a change. This change could be a mental change, a different way of thinking, or an actual change in a policy or practice. It's wide open. Here's a classic example. I'm 16 years old and I just got my driver's license. Therefore, I'm clearly more than capable of driving your new Porsche Turbo. Try saying that to one of your parents and he or she will probably say, uh, yeah, right. But give them evidence and support your claim. Show them how you can drive in reverse in a straight line for 100 feet and parallel park a Hummer into a parking spot meant for motorcycles, and you just might succeed in changing their mind. So when you're presenting an argument, your reader must see things from your point of view. You can't let them just brush it off because they don't agree with you right off the bat. It's on you to persuade them by providing support for your arguments and effectively shooting down any potential counter arguments all through it, keep your tone civil and polite, or your reader will toss aside your paper. So how is this puppy organized? You've got your intro, a thesis that states your overall opinion. The body of the essay will have your supporting points, and finally your conclusion in which you wrap things up neatly. If that seems like a bit much, don't panic. Schmup's writing guide has help and more info on these terms. The argument essay is the most important kind of academic paper, because most essays have an element of argumentation, even if it isn't immediately obvious. After all, why are you writing anything at all if it isn't to convince someone of something? The personal statement that you will be writing to get into college? It's an argument that you're awesome. That long Facebook status you just posted about how Taken 2 is the best movie of all time? That's right, you're trying to persuade your reader that the off-derided film is in fact misunderstood. If you're going to turn anyone to your side in this instance, though, let's hope you have a very particular set of skills. See what we mean? Now go on, argue. We can see you're chomping at the bit. Okay. Did you guys see that video okay? Yeah. It was a little echoey. Little echoey. Yeah, unfortunately, I think with the recording option, yep. it sometimes becomes that way. So argumentative writing, as you can see, they, they took a topic that we're going to a little further explain here so we can kind of make sure that we know what we're doing. We're going to pick the one where they showed an example of are dogs or cats better? Mm -hmm. Now... I could say either one. I could say that I think dogs are funnier or dogs are more cuddly. And if I wanted to pick cats, I could say cats to me are easier to take care of. Cats, you could leave home for a few days and you know they're okay and they won't need anybody to come and check on them. 
if I were to ask you, think about it for a second. If I were to ask you which one you felt you like dogs or cats, I know it might be tough because I know some people love animals of all kinds. What do you think, Avery, would you pick? Dogs or cats do you like better? I pick dogs. Dogs? Why would you pick dogs? Give me a reason why you'd pick dogs. Because um, they're more energetic. More and, energetic. I like that. And mm -hmm. mostly they're usually happier and not like... Um, Sometimes cats can get mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely agree. Sierra, what do you think? What would you pick if you could pick cats or dogs? Um, I think I would have to pick cats. Cats? And why would you feel that cats are better? Um, I think cats are better because they aren't as loud as dogs. And I agree with that. Slobbery. Slobbery. I like that too. Slobbery not slobbery. And they definitely are not loud. They might meow a little bit, but they definitely are not ones to bark loud at any car going by or anything that's making noise. Or I agree with that too. Now, do you have a cat in your house, Sierra? Yes. You do? Do you have any dogs? No. No. And how about you, Avery? Do you currently have a dog or a cat in your house? I have both. You have both, so you kind of get to experience both. So that's probably why you were able to uh, say, hey, I like dogs better. Maybe Sierra one day might say, hey, I like dogs better, because she doesn't mm -hmm. have a dog in her house to know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a fish. You what? I have a fish. You have a fish? There you go. We could always throw that in, too. Dogs, cats, or fish better and make it three choices. A fish might be the easiest to take care of, right? <laughs> good, good with the questions and answers, guys. I appreciate your class participation. You're doing great. Now, I'm going to explain to you here what it actually argumentative essay says that it is. It says that it's a genre of writing that requires a student to investigate a topic, collect and generate and evaluate that evidence and establish a position on that topic in a concise matter. Really big words there. Basically what it's saying is you want to be able to pick one side or the other, take a stance on it, make sure that you back it up. Don't say I like dogs better, but then go, but cats do this. You got to stick with one side or the other to make your viewers completely understand what you are trying to get across so they go well they made some good points maybe a dog is better maybe a cat is better and there's so many different topics that you could pick you could pick as homework shouldn't we have homework should we not have homework should we have a bedtime during school should we not have a bedtime a lot of easy topics we are going to pick two today and we're going to kind of vote you can pick either one it's up to you we're going to pick between should we have homework or no homework or should we have a bedtime or we should not have a bedtime. Think about that for a couple seconds and uh, see where you would rather talk about which one you think might be easier for you to discuss. And uh, I'll give you a couple seconds and let me know what you think. I think that either one would be easy to talk about. I have a feeling, though, if you pick the homework or no homework, you're absolutely going to pick no homework. And I think if you picked bedtime or no bedtime, you're going to tell me that you don't think you need a bedtime. What do you think, Sierra? Which one would you like to talk about? Um, I think uh, no homework because sometimes I get tired. So I think the bedtime is good. Yep. If you pick the one that was no homework, you absolutely say, hey, I'm tired at night. Or you could say that I have too many commitments after school or I want time to play outside. I agree with that. Avery, if you could pick homework, no homework or bedtime or no bedtime, which one do you think you would pick? Um, so I would do bedtime because um, so we will be more hyper and happier in the morning. Do you think you should have a bedtime or you think you shouldn't have a bedtime? 
Um, you should have a bedtime. I appreciate that you feel you should have a bedtime because I guarantee you not a lot of people would say, hey, I think we should have a bedtime because most would be like, no bedtime. I can handle two hours of sleep. I'll be good to go. But I agree with you that you definitely need a bedtime because you need to have that time where you can get up in the morning and feel refreshed, have your sleep. You'll be better. You'll be better to learn in the morning because you don't want to be sleepy in class. And if you only get a couple hours sleep, you're definitely going to be sleepy in class, especially if the teacher's not real exciting, right? You might get a little bored and be like, I'll just take a nap. I'll be okay. And then you'll end up missing something that could be really important. Yeah. Well, I like both that your choices are, are different choices. And I like that one was a pro that she believes that we should have a time. I also believe that we shouldn't have homework at times because I think homework could be overwhelming. I like them both. So what you guys are going to do for the next couple of minutes, you're just going to kind of brainstorm on some ideas. If you come up with another idea, let me know. You can, you can raise your hand or you can call it out. I'm here. I just want to hear some ideas. Can you think of something else, Sierra, besides your one idea of why you shouldn't have homework? Um, still about homework? Yeah, why do you think we shouldn't have homework? What's another reason besides that you might be tired at night? Um, well, the learning environment. Some people might not be able to have a good place to do their homework. I agree. Or you might not have certain supplies. Say you needed scissors and you don't have scissors and you might not be able to work on it. And then you're going to feel really bad the next day saying I couldn't do it. And you might be embarrassed. I agree with that. That's an idea. Avery, could you think of anything else of why it's important to have a bedtime? Um, um, it's, so there should be a bedtime because, um, there, so you have a better routine. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. I think it's more of a structure thing. You have a bedtime, you're used to that bedtime, you get up the next day and you're kind of in a routine of what you should be doing. These are all amazing ideas, guys. And this is just part of our brainstorming. This is all we're learning about today is just some ideas, kind of have your topic, kind of have what you think you're going to, you only need to have, end up having three valid points and some information to back them up. So you only need to come up with your main idea and then your three points, and then you're kind of closing, but we're going to do it day by day. Tomorrow we'll be working on our hook as long as you feel comfortable enough about what we're argumenting on, how you're feeling about it. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to share something with you. It's called an exit slip. It's my way of knowing how you guys feel about today's lesson. Do you feel, you see all these emojis, you can circle one. And it says at the bottom, I choose this emoji because... And there's plenty on there. There's ones that are sad. There's ones that are happy. There's ones that show crying or mad or so however you feel, I'll make sure I share this with you guys and you just circle what you feel and then you can share it back with me or you can just write it at the bottom, share it back with me so I know how you guys feel. And then tomorrow when we meet, I can say, hey, Avery, I saw you were feeling a little anxious. Can I further explain something? Or, Hey, Sierra, I saw that you had a real big smile. You must like what we're going to write about. And we'll move on from there. You guys did fantastic today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you paying attention and paying attention to me and listening to me. So that's all I have for today. So you guys are good to go for today, okay? Do you guys have any questions before you go? No. 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 All right. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Sierra, you have a great day. Thank you for joining and showing up. And Avery, thank you also for joining and showing up. Okay. Thanks. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye. 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 Are you confused? What? Are you confused or are you okay? Wait, I need to leave.